It was a nice beach day, and I think tomorrow uh, should be a nice beach day too. So that's for two good on news. the weekend. All right. Good timing. Now let's get to Viper Radar because we have just a few little showers, a few little lightning strikes out there, but most of us are going to stay dry through the remainder of your Saturday evening. So great news for your outdoor plans. Uh, you can see we do have uh, two areas in Palm Beach County, one here uh, very far west of Boynton Beach, a little cell right there, and some lightning right at the border of uh, Broward County and Palm Beach County. County, but that is essentially it. We have a few showers over Lake O and we move to the Treasure Coast. Well, let's zoom into this area right there. You can see this storm sinking southward into Broward and this shower is well west of 441. So thankfully, uh, not too many people that live there right now. But if you are driving out west in central Palm Beach County, you could run into some showers and we do have some activity off the coast that from time to time could brush the coastline tonight. But basically, a dry night. Now this was a beautiful sunrise from Delray Beach. I love the glow there on the camera. Bright blue skies. Of course, everyone came out setting up the chairs and this day they didn't have to pack up and uh, get out of the way of storm clouds because we stayed dry at the beach right through the evening hours. West Palm Beach made it up to right around 91 today. The average 88, so we were hot and Vero Beach. They were a little bit cooler. 89, still one degree above their average of 88 degrees. Current temps right now 84 in Boca, 85 Boynton Beach, 87 Indian Town, 84 in Okeechobee and Vero Beach checking in at 85 degrees. Some beautiful photos for you. Speaking of gators, Dorothy Bass took this last night of this gator there in the lake. Beautiful sunset behind it. I mean, that is that says Florida right there. Alligators and beautiful sunsets. Linda Emerson, she caught this little rainbow in the sky as she was uh, arriving into PBIA. So she was still up in the air and took that out of the plane window. So thank you, Linda. Ed Mullen, beautiful shot of Juno Beach. Thank you. And Tom Poitivin capturing uh, some wildlife there in uh, Boynton Beach with all all of those pelicans. So a nice Saturday for everybody. OK, winds out of the north northeast. So with that northerly drainage, that is going to allow some temperatures to be a little bit cooler tonight, especially by the lake. 73 Indian Town, 73 Okeechobee, but near the coastline, West Palm Beach, 79 degrees and Boca holding steady at 80 degrees tonight. Mid 70s for the Treasure Coast highs tomorrow, upper 80s uh, to the low 90s. So similar to what we saw today. Tropics pretty quiet. We have this little area right here that the National Hurricane Center just giving a 10% chance of development to and the remnants of Gordon right now a 0% chance of regenerating. All right, your Viper cast for tomorrow. We'll see uh, a few showers and storms firing up along the East Coast sea breeze right around the noon hour, one o'clock, and then that will move inland. So again, a relatively dry day here for South Florida tonight. Temperatures dropping down to 79 degrees, winds out of the north at five. And here's your seven day forecast. Temperatures in the upper 80s, relatively dry the next three days. First day of fall starts tomorrow and then we ramp up those rain chances the second half of the week. Figuring just like uh, us humans. Hey, good day to be at the beach. Yeah, and and that gator seemed like he was like relax enjoying it, right? He, he was just he why was, not? He was along for the float there. He was yeah. he was. I was in the ocean today and I'm glad I did not meet that guy out there. Yeah. That would have given me a scare. No thanks. No thanks. <laughs> well, otherwise, I think we're going to do pretty good tomorrow, too, because the same general pattern uh, with ridging in place, our overall atmospheric moisture has dropped down a little bit, so that's reduced our rain chances, too. So once again, tomorrow, we will see some showers and storms pop up, but it's not going to be widespread and certainly not a washout. Well, we started the day with beautiful blue sky from Palm City and Martin County today, a looking lovely, then some clouds came along, but we need those clouds for a nice little sunset. And that's exactly what we saw towards the end of the evening. This at 7.05 and then the sky, a nice pink orange hue at 7.35 and just that little glow before darkness. So beautiful sunset tonight. Couple showers out there we're watching. Here's one just offshore between Lake Worth Beach and Boynton Beach, and this will likely graze the coastline in the next 10 to 20 minutes. We're also watching a shower right now that moved over Hutchinson Island and right Right now it is just uh, south of Fort Pierce in St. Lucie County. So that's going to be the rule overnight. We could see some 
coastal showers uh, just at the immediate coastline. And then tomorrow, once again, better chance of seeing showers and storms inland. So your current temperatures right now, it's a big uh, difference depending where you're watching us from. 81 Boynton Beach, 82 in Boca Raton, 75 Okeechobee, and 77 in Bureau Beach. So we're going to see those inland zones get a little bit cooler tonight with winds out of the north. Now I want to alert you, we do have a coastal flood advisory for the Treasure Coast. Minor coastal flooding at high tide through tomorrow. So there could be some isolated road closures, um, especially for low-lying roadways. And that thin green line there, that's the outline of that coastal flood advisory. Now we move south to Palm Beach County. We have a coastal flood statement, which is one degree lower. Minor coastal flooding possible at high tide, uh, but it will be much more isolated in nature. And our next high tide coming up in about 13 minutes at 1130 tonight and also at 1214 tomorrow afternoon. Your low temperatures tonight dropping down into the low 70s inland and Indian River County, St. Lucie County, Palm Beach County, especially near the coast, we're staying in the upper 70s, close to 80 degrees. Now today we made it up to uh, 91 West Palm Beach, so we were way above average and Bureau Beach just one degree above average with a high of 89 degrees. Winds tonight light, but the general flow is out of the north that will allow us to get a little cooler tonight. Tomorrow highs in the upper 80s to low 90s, factor in the humidity, feels like temperatures in the triple digits. So let's check out our rain chances. Overnight, we will see some coastal showers from time to time. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, we see that East Coast sea breeze right around 2.30. So the coast looks to stay dry, and then that activity pretty much moves inland from there. So we look at a mainly dry Sunday, just about a 20% chance of seeing any shower activity at the coast. Now, in the tropics, this is what we're watching. Something may move into this area. It has a 70% chance of developing in the northwestern Caribbean Sea. Once it gets there, it will likely move into the Gulf. We have a lot of time to watch it, but we'll be tracking it for you. There's a few other waves that will not be affecting us. Tonight, partly cloudy, 79 degrees, and here is your seven-day forecast. Temperatures, upper 80s to low 90s. Uh, Low-end rain chances the first half of the week. The second half of the week, get your umbrellas handy.